150, and he says that when he stops on the gas, it spits and sputters. Some of the most common reasons for this are a dirty air filter, a dirty carburetor, or a faulty coil wire. Or by having cracks in your intake manifold, or one of the hoses that lead into it. Since we know this buggy hasn't been maintenanced in a while, we're going to start with cleaning the carburetor and cleaning out that air filter, and I think we'll see some good results. First thing we're going to do is take off this air filter and clean it. The intake off. Properly clean your foam filter. Never use gas, that can be dangerous. Always use a proper uni service kit. Okay, when you clean your air filter, make sure you clean and saturate. Cover the whole filter with the cleaner. Do some inside too. Set that on a clean rag. Do the same thing with the free filter. Set that up on a clean rag. And then while that's cleaning, we're going to take off the carburetor and we'll show you how to clean one of those as well. So before you clean the carburetor, you want to make sure that the area around the carburetor is free of any dirt or any kind of debris. So the first thing you want to do is um, disconnect the throttle linkage. Now that we have the throttle linkage disconnected, we're going to go over to the other side of the buggy. So, we're going to need to um, shut off the fuel flow, but this um, particular buggy does not have a um, turnoff valve. So we have modified a pair of vice grips with rubber ends so we do not damage the fuel line. Okay. Once you get this clamped on, um, you're going to need, you might want to just connect the fuel line here. Okay. And then once you get this off, it's always um, nice to have a rag just in case it, just in case there's any um, fuel still, still inside the line. So once you have that, once you have this hose clamped off and disconnected, um, you want to disconnect this hose that runs to the top of the carburetor. That's what I should. Now you want to um, disconnect the um, auto choke, which is right here, Darn it. by unscrewing these two screws there and there. So once you get the two screws removed, put them inside the nice metallic hole so you don't lose any of the parts. Remove the auto choking clip. And put the clip inside the metallic hole. Okay, so the next thing to do is loosen or take off the screw connect right there connecting the um, carburetor to the intake manifold so once you um, get that really loose you're going to pull the carburetor until it comes out okay so the first thing you want to do when um get the carburetor out is drain the gas out of the bowl. The way we do this is by loosening this screw next to the hose. Make sure to keep the hose over your bowl. So once all the gas is drained out of it, um, turn the bowl upside down and then remove the four screws that hold the bowl on. Once you get out all the, all the four screws, 
carefully take out the bowl and lay it on the rack. So here are your floats. This is your main jet and this is your pilot jet. And um, the first thing we're going to do is take out the floats. There's a little pin inside here that holds it on. I'm going to use this nail and push it out. Let's lift this straight up. And as you can see, there is another needle inside here. Um, it's just held on. It's just held on by a little thing, and then just take this off and put it inside the bowl. Put the floats aside. So next, we're going to take out the jets, starting with the main jet, which is in two pieces. So we're going to use a seven millimeter wrench to hold the bottom part, and then a flat head to unscrew the main jet. And then you see that? There's some gunk in there. That's a dirty jet. Then remove the sleeve. Okay, next, remove the pilot jet with a flathead screwdriver. There's your pilot jet. Okay, so once you've removed all the jets, turn the carburetor over and remove the silver cap. And keep your thumb over it because there is a spring under here. So once you keep that cap off, remove the spring, set it aside, and then inspect this rubber diaphragm for any tears or cracks, and then carefully reach in and remove it. Set this off to the side. There you go. Okay, now that you have all the parts removed, um, take a good carburetor cleaner and stick this nozzle down inside all the holes and just spray a bit in and get all these little holes here because every single one of them does something. Okay, so once you get all the holes on this side, flip it over and then get all the holes on this side. Get down to the auto choke. So once you get carburetor clear down all the holes, take some compressed hair, air, <laughs> and, and put down those same exact holes. Once you get the carburetor cleaned, clean the parts as you put them back in. Now replace the spring, put back on the cap, and once you get the cap on, flip it over, let's clean out the jets, starting with the housing.